It sounds like troubles are brewing. We should go find that dude, even if he did call me a lizard. All right, and welcome back to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Why do you have a thing above your head? What can I do you for? Oh, treasure trade, new arrival. I'm good for now. I will be a stranger. All right, let's get going. This guy might need help. There are still people stuck in Tempeel. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? So the altar suddenly lit up, you know? And the wind was like a whoosh! And that primeval god is not happy. Slow down, take a few deep breaths, and tell me exactly what happened. Okay, okay, I'm calm. An altar, fierce winds, and what they call a primeval god. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does. It smells fishy. It's gotta be connected to Bahamut going ballistic on us. <sighs> that guy with glasses knows something we don't. Wanna see if we can tag along? He could lead us to a clue. What do you think, Captain? Well, we can't ignore people in trouble. Exacto mundo! Right then. I know what I have to do. Time to get moving. Um, excuse me. Ah, hello again. The situation is a bit out of hand, as you can see. If you need something from me, can it wait? I must leave town for a spell. Then I'll cut to the chase. Allow us to join you. Say that again? It seems you're in a predicament. Depending on the situation, we could be of help. I appreciate the offer, I really do, but... You mentioned a primal beast, right? If that's the problem, we want to lend a hand. We had our own snag as soon as we arrived in this skydom. Bet your round of drinks, whatever you're facing, has to do with us, too. Simply put, our goals are aligned. It takes two to tango, wouldn't you say? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Though, more hands would certainly be welcome. Very well. I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yay! Anything can happen out there. Whoops. You should get organized before we head out. Oh, I'm making a party. Ooh, yay. The four characters can be in your party at one time. It's your choice who you will, uh, who want for your venture. Okay. Aww. Party formation. Let's make a party of four. The character in the left most slot is the one you control. The captain must be in the party for the main story. But you can play whatever character you like. Okay. We have yet to see you in action. Oh. Couldn't resist my help? Oh, okay. Now I can do what I want. I haven't seen these two do anything yet. I'll give it my damnedest. I compliment any bouquet. See that counter? That's where we can pick up new quests. Let's check back often, okay? Okay. What is this, monster quest? Or monster hunter, I mean? Uh, clear quest to raise your level and get resources for upgrading weapons and sigils. You'll also earn mastery points, MSP, unlock new skills and stats, unlock fate episodes, learn more about characters by viewing their fate episodes. It's also a good way to gain extra stat boosts. Fate episodes are access to the quest counter. Okay, no idea what those are. You set! That dude's gonna need serious help fixing the tornado problem. Oh, are you a skyfarer, perchance? If you're looking for coin, I can help you find jobs from all over the sky dome. Okay. So, would you be interested in taking a quest or two? Or, uh, maybe more? <laughs> What's kind of take a various quests? Okay. And then there's online, yeah. Which I don't think I'll do. The episodes are special character-specific stories. More episodes are unlocked as the game progresses and characters are leveled up. Everyone has a fate episode. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm just looking right now. Uh, Crew Alliance Raphael is always stocked with quests for the Interpid Sky... Yeah, Interpid Skyfarer. Quests are organized by location, difficulty, and type. Right. Um, okay. Bashed Goblin Hordes. Worried about... <clears throat> Boy, holy cow, what happened? <clears throat> Work on Papa and protect our woods. All of them look fairly easy. Horror goblins have been spotted in the forest. If nothing is done, our people won't be, uh, be able to gather firewood or medical or medicinal herbs. And trade with other islands will grind it to a halt. We urgently need battle hardened skyfarers put a stop to it. Okay. Select clothes to play the quest with your current party. Okay. Be careful. Oh, you immediately leave. All right, see you. Oh. Yeah, so a little monster huntery. Okay. Okay, people. It's go time. Controlling the captain. This young man's on the journey to reach uh, Estelucia. He's a solid choice for any situation and learns all types of skills for offense, defense, and healing and support. The captain creates various combos using X, Y, Y, hit chargeable, pulling off combos, reaches the, his adept arts level, skills, boom. Okay, yeah, I know that. Wanna fight? They got one. I'm sorry if I didn't do that. Now's our chance! On me! Tempest Flame! 
She was MVP. Wow, she was unscathed? Holy cow. Um, okay, I got an A. I will probably, if I want to, redo these and get the others, but at the moment, I'm fine. I got stuff. I love stuff. I have no Rupee Typhoon. Okay. All right, that was fun. Don't forget to equip sigils. Now that you obtain a sigil, you have to equip it in order to take advantage of its effects. Yeah. Okay. Is it in gear? Uh, sigils grant additional effects when you equip. Be sure to check out the stats of any new sigils when you come across them. Um. Oh. Increase rupee gain. Does not apply co- oh, I mean, I, I guess. Is Rupee the currency in this game? Yes, can I help you? Hello, I will is. undertake. We cleared that one. This one's a boss. Avai's power is 300. Nice my, my power is, where do I see that? Oh, uh, it's 337. Okay. Hello there. Right. Mm, all right. So I'm gonna... I can make the arrangements at once. All right, let's do it. It's in your hands now. We'll do these three quests, and yeah, let's go for it. Ready? Bring in the whole circus, huh? Keep on your toes. <laughs> Yikes! It's alive! Oh, oh, oh. There. <laughs> Looking good. Full blue. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just like that! On my mark! You don't hold back! Here's a little paper! Alright. Can't keep up. Stay out! We get some serious blood there! Let's keep it up! Now let's keep going. Looking good. Nope. There. You reap what you sow. Just like that. Whoa. This war's not over oh, yet. Coming. Oh, no. No. Now, I've got you. <laughs> Just like we practiced. Yes. Very yeah. well done. It's over. Come, Crimson Thor. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing? Holy cow, man, I'm going crazy. What do you think? Can't keep up. Looking good. Take them down. All me. Just like that. 
We were truly a sight to behold. <laughs> the honor's right all mine. to take care of this area. The next zone awaits. They just keep coming. But we'll show them who's boss. Looking good. Come in. Where were the barrels? Ah, oh, there. Hey, there we go. That's not what I wanted. Looking good. On me! You got it! We will prevail! Superb! And that was just the one! What do you think? Even the sweetest one! Come on! Looking good! That's this! Looking good! More monsters. You ready? Oh, no. Nope. You reap what you Break it away. Looking good. Come on, birdie, birdie, birdie. <laughs> Just like that! That was great! I'll finish this! Take my sword! Look! What do you think? Go there! You reap what you sow! Now's our chance! Yeah. For me! Tempest Flame! Ha! Catalina, I'll protect you! Well, my boy! Bring it! I got him! Get the good to know now! Who's in? Never fear. <laughs> Bring it! Gale first! Simply be nice, huh? They mess with the best. Looking good! You missed! Full bloom! Catch this! And I think that's everything. Oof. You were awesome out there. That went well. <laughs> Skyfarers? Never fail. All right. I think that one's at least uh, A, I guess. Although I'd like an S. Holy cow, Rosetta is just kicking butt. Come on, come on, come on. A little more. Nope. Damn. Alright, we got another one. Attack, okay. That went well. Also, these are all on easy, but still, it went well. I might have to change the party. They're level 6 now. Yeah. I was itching for some action. There we go. Yes, can I help you? What do you think? This one, yes? Let's do it. Be careful. Gotta level up my party. You two level threes, I'm gonna have to try and carry you. Oh, it's you again. Boy, could die on me. 
Super! Looking good! Just like that! On my Look alive! After you! Sorry, not sorry! Okay. Alert, folks! Yes! Great! Well, we get left behind! Our There's nothing for the heal! Looking good! Just like that! I'll stick! On my mark! I'll finish this! We turned the tide. I guess so. I was just getting warmed up. Now Watch out. Watch it back. Oh, wait. Uh, some bosses gain the bloodthirst effect. It makes skybound arts ineffective and greatly reduced. Oh. <laughs> Necessarily started. Do it again. Got it in my sights. I'm gonna stay here. Time is triggered when Link uh, level is at 100%, and each party performs a Link attack. During Link time, enemy movement is slowed, and your granted various effects such as increased attack power, health generation, or Oh yeah! Just kidding! Oh, on my mark! How's this? Boss fights are fun. <laughs> you made that look easy. All right, bravo with your level up, guys. What's this? Nice find. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, there we go, an MSP. 
Yeah, I definitely didn't clear within three or one minute. <laughs> I have to redo this one in the future to get some rewards. Get there. Or we can keep grinding it, but nah. Yeah, now they're they leveled up good. They went three to five. Give me an A. At least give me an A. Oh yeah. No healing needed. That's a lie. Alright, and she leveled up. Good. And we got another sigil, stun power, whatever. Okay. I'll give that to someone who's a really heavy hitter who does stuns. I don't think there's anyone in the party that does really heavy hits and stuns. Ooh. I have a side quest arc to report. Oh, right. What did you want? Yeah, a golem finger. I don't have that. You. All right. Excellent. Ain't got nothing on you. All right, give me a second. Let me check out my side quest. There it is. All right. Uh, cannot do those still. I need a wee pincer in that. Okay. But I finished you. Also, give me a second. I did get some things. I'm just looking at my weapon because it's easier at the moment. Attack power. Oh, it goes up by four. Done. Can bring up okay who has the best stun i got 80. no okay everyone's the same i can give you the stun power honestly and then what i'll do is i'll give you the attack and then you don't need attack because you are magic yeah absolutely not i'll give it Uh, to you. Oh. Alright. Let me see. So I set, I share these with everybody, right? Interesting. Seems useful. I'm thinking of doing a defense thing with her. Yeah, okay. It shares across everybody. Didn't know that originally. My bad. Right. Um, offense. Oh wait, what's this? Ooh, nice. I'll get that for her. Why not? <laughs> we'll get everyone something. My thorns feel sharper already. All right, you, Yugen. Uh, what do we have here for you? Perfect dodge, perfect guard. I can boost your health. Or I can give you Oh yeah. Can't wait to try this out in the field. Io doesn't really have much for defense, but I will give her perfect <laughs> dodge. It's all so clear. Yeah. And let's see her fence. Ooh. Create a water elemental spell that inflicts yeah, attack down when jumping backwards. Ooh. Oh, fun! We'll do that for now with you. Rack him. Everyone at that least gets one defense, and then it's all coming back to me. Might as well do that. Same thing with you. I can make use of this. Oh. Oh, no, don't all. Oh. What? What am I doing? Great. Enables launch. It's only one. A new technique. And then. Perfect guard, ah, perfect dodge, Behold, those are important. Alright, I'm done with you for now, and, well, I'm not touching myself for a bit, because, uh, yeah, actually, wait, didn't I want the, I wanted this. Well, I'm not going to be able to get it, so, whatever, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll try and get yeah, everyone up to work. perfect guard Learn and dodge, because I think that's important. 
Oh man, hers requires actually three because, well, yeah. I think I got hers. No, I didn't. All right. Yes. I got a trophy. 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 Um. Now let me see. Do I equip the skills? Or are they already on? Good. They're already on. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. What should I strengthen? All right, I have a level two sword. Let's bring everyone's up I'll to level it. one. Wait, what's this do? Oh, ho, ho, ho. hold on to those. Actually, we could do level two. Yeah, let's do a level two weapon then, everybody. I'll handle it. Success. Oh, I already brought. Okay, there we go. I'll handle it. How about that? All right. I'll handle it. Success. I'll handle it. Good. There we go. I'm just doing this so we have something. I'll handle it. How about that? Now I'm curious. If I it. do this. Oh, wait, there's a max level. Oh. Hmm. Alright, let me do this. Go back to my I'll weapon. I'm curious. If I do that. Success. You can't level it up or do anything with it. Oh, that's a shame. Don't forget about upkeep. Give me a second. There's a thing in the distance right there. Ah, a new quest. We've uh, well, I've run out of old world shrooms, though they're not used very often. They're are few pesky ailments which they act as a miracle regent. Could you supply some more? I need one more and okay. Alright, and they show up on the compass and let you know. So if you don't have to worry about missing anything, just look on the compass and you'll see it. Oh, okay. That's good actually. Um did I get any silver keys from what I did? I did not. Making sure. Alright. Oh my. Oh, by the way, uh, I'll show you real quick. I saw that these two, you, I, I thought you had to buy them for uh, five bucks. I didn't do it. Uh, then I looked it up. No. You do not have to buy them. You can unlock them in the future without buying them. But you can just immediately buy them and play them. Apparently, they're really good. I'm not going to buy them. I'm very curious with this guy and this guy. Don't be a stranger. I'll be a stranger if I want to. Come to view the requests? What do you think? Right, let me see. Does any give mushrooms? This one, yes? Nope, nope. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, we're redoing this one because I want the mushrooms. Oh, wait. I can make this one, right? At once. Yeah. Good. Alright, we're redoing the can Bash Goblins one. one. It's in your hands now. I want the mushrooms. Call me a bit of a completionist, but I want to try and get everything done. There we go. Let's do it to it. Just beginning, Rackham. Don't 
just keep coming. There we go. I'll show him who's boss. Just like that. Let's end this. Attack. You're the best, Rackham. Don't get mushy on me. Don't move. Yeah. Ooh, now we're doing it. I'm not liking the look of this, but don't let it intimidate you. Catch this! Oh, what the hell are you? Looking good. No rest for the wicked. Who do you take me for? I'm not liking the look of this, but don't let it intimidate you. Come on. Easy peasy. Dragon leg. This war's not over yet. That's it. Just like that. Armor break. Here we go! Blast They're up. finished! We have my blade! We are unstoppable! Oh, Catch yeah. this! We got the You're not wrong! Right. We're not feeling our hair! I'm with you! That was actually close to the two minute mark. Wow. And I think that's everything! You were awesome out there! I can redo that. I almost get the two minute mark. But I can always do this on my own time, so I'm not gonna worry about it. To the that. ends of the skies! To Estalusia! I just want a mushroom. Nice, rack him. I didn't get the mushroom. You disappoint me. Whatever will I do in my life without that mushroom? Ah, it's fine. I'll probably get as a drop sooner or later. And also, this looks like a hub world. I'll be returning to it. Um, right. I'm going to do a fake episode. If they're really long, I'm not going to do too much of it. But let's see how long they are. I, yeah. Our adventure began with a strange light falling over my home island of Zinkenstill. I chased it to the impact site, where I found a blue-haired girl named Lyria and a knight, Catalina. The girl was shaken, and pretty soon I learned the reason why. She was on the run from Erste Empire soldiers. I knew an unfair fight when I saw one, so I stepped up to protect Lyria from those awful tyrants. Catalina and I fended them off well enough, but when their backs were in the corner, they released a fire-breathing Hydra. It charged me, sending me flying into the tree line. Moments away from death, all I could think about was Dad. He'd been the one who trained me, and he'd done a great job, but... Well, who expects their son to get attacked by a five-headed horror? <sighs> he was going to be devastated. So, it's all over. Just as I began to sink into darkness, a gentle light enveloped my body. Lyria, breathed by a mystical halo, was floating above me with her hand outstretched. She explained that she was going to merge our life forces. Fortunately, it worked. From that moment forward, Lyria and I would be inextricably linked. Looking into her blue eyes, I knew I had nothing to fear, not even death itself. Two people, one life, a greater whole. Lyria had taken a huge risk to save me. Now, if one of us got hit with a fatal blow, it was curtains for both. And that thought awakened in me a desperate hunger for survival, for life. The next moment, Lyria and I felt this reverberation of power. The torrent of emotion rushing from me had awakened something. 
darkness and flames swirled around us, coalescing into a massive dragon, Bahamut. With him on our side, we made short work of the Imperial Hydra. Now that their trump card had been blasted into oblivion, the Imperial Army had no choice but to run. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't chased that light. No Lyria, no lifelink, no adventure. Man, I probably wouldn't even have set foot off of Zinkin still. Fate's a funny thing, isn't it? Since meeting Lyria, we've seen our fair share of joy and happiness, and pain and suffering. But the Grand Cypher crew doesn't buckle under pressure. We'll take on anything the journey throws at us. No regrets. Hmm. Oh, hey, that's actually a pretty decent stat increase. Now, where was I? Oh, right. We've just humiliated the Empire, who probably had reserves waiting somewhere close by. We realized we needed to get off Zinkin still. Fast. The Empire was not going to rest while Lyria was on the loose. And I figured that since we shared a life force now and all, it was in everyone's best interests if we stayed together. Plus, I'd always wanted to explore the far reaches of the skies. Though, doing it on the run, not what I had in mind. There was so much to think about, so much to decide. But all those plans could come after we had escaped Zinkin still. I didn't want a whole army, this time with, I don't know, 30 Hydras marching on my home island. And, well, I had another, more personal reason for wanting to leave. Before I knew it, our journey was at an end. The end. As in, we'd reached the end of the skies. My son, I'm waiting for you on Estalusia. I thought about Dad's letter. I missed him. When I was young, he would take me to the edge of the island, and we'd sit there, admiring the clouds. I wanted so badly to explore those skies, just like Dad. I had to see him again. And now, I wouldn't have to make that journey alone. With Vern, Lyria, and Catalina at my side, we commandeered a small Imperial craft and set out for the greatest of destinations, Estalusia. Okay, so they're not that, that long. Holy cow. Ooh, that was a good HP increase right there. Oh. And... Okay, this will be the last one I'll be able to do for him. From the moment we left Zinkenstill, our adventures were hectic, to say the least. Catalina, who claimed to be an experienced pilot, crashed our small vessel onto the gusty fields of Port Breeze. But we quickly pulled ourselves together and found a new ally, and helmsman, in the form of Rackham. Since then, we gained more and more allies, and no matter what obstacle we faced, the crew always worked in tandem to find a solution. It's all thanks to their support that I've made it this far. And what a wild ride it's been. To think I had never even set foot off of Zinkin still. But now, I can't even count the number of islands we've saved, let alone visited. Sure, being a roving band of heroes is difficult, but it's got its perks. New faces, new places, and a whole airship's worth of fun. Who could pass this life up? Anyway, we've just begun the next chapter of our adventure. We discovered another piece of the sky map, which led us to Zega Grande. Yeah, a whole new skydom. Just imagine the danger, the promise. But I knew it was going to be fine. Just another set of memories to add to our ever-growing collection. I hope you're ready, Zega Grande, because here we come. Okay, yeah, so they're not that long. Probably the longest one is the first one you do. Okay, okay. You're done. Now it's time for Kalina, and I can probably do her first three episodes. You think you know the sky and wind, but then you come to a foreign land where unfamiliar songs on the air beckon you toward the unknown. 
Adelina, where do you think this breeze is coming from? The wind rustled Lyria's hair affectionately as she spoke. From somewhere far, far away. Much time has passed since Lyria and I escaped from the Earth Day Empire and met the captain in the woods of Zinkenstill. I found myself thankful that the sky has no limit, because no matter how many journeys I've made at her side, there will always be more to look forward to. Oh wow, that was a short one. Okay, if they're all like that, maybe I can do them all right now. Well, no, because I think now, uh, we'll see. Lyria and I first crossed paths when I was still a knight of Earth Day, and she a tool in the Empire's mad experiments on Dark Essence. So you're Lyria. I was appointed to stay by her side as both captor and guardian. She reminded me of a beautifully crafted puppet, never moving or speaking unless commanded. Her expression was fixed, and her eyes were bright, but cold, as if made of glass. Moved to pity, I wanted at the very least to light a smile on her face, but I may as well have been talking to a doll. I couldn't find the part of her that was alive. It wasn't until many days had escaped us that I realized. Lyria was a real girl with a feeling soul. She simply didn't know how to act like one. So, I taught her to laugh when she felt joy and cry when she felt sadness. Through books and reverie, I taught her to long for the outside world. And when colors on a page were no longer enough, I took her hand and led her to the roof of the military base. <laughs> the illustrations Lyria had seen were lovely. But the sky now stretching above her was boundless and so luminous that it drew forth tears. And finally, finally, her blue eyes shone, as if they were two patches of sky lit by a sun from within her. That sun melted my heart. There, with the open air as our witness, I made her a promise. Someday, we'll sail this endless world together. I swear it. <laughs> As the bond between us grew, so did the cruelty of the experiments they performed on Lyria. Lyria doesn't belong here. No living creature does. The shining empire I served now became to me a place clouded by doubt. Day after day, a battle raged within me. Between the knight loyal to her flag and the guardian who wanted to set a sad girl free. Then, one day, the memory of Lyria's response on the roof broke through like a clear ray of light. Really? You'll... you'll show me this endless world? I had made a vow. There was no more question where my allegiance lay. I took her hand once again. This time, not to simply gaze at the sky, but to leap into it. And I did it for myself, as much as I did it for her. Okay. See how many? All right, once again, three. Okay. Piloting an airship ain't easy work, but whether it's plotting a windward course or conducting some routine maintenance, you can always count on experience and intuition. Ha! Just a little further! Finally, the Grand Cipher broke through the nebulous shadows and turbulent winds of the Grim Basin. And to greet us on the other end was our reward, the brilliant clear blue. It was a panoramic azure, dappled by silver-white clouds and gleaming from the light of a new day. Always an exhilarating sight to behold. And judging by the cries of celebration starting to spread across the deck, I took it my crewmates would agree. Damn, who'd have ever thought a young dreamer from Port Breeze would make it all the way out to these skies? The Grand Cypher and I, We'd gone through thick and thin together. It's a long story, but it all started on that fateful day I met the captain. I haven't looked back since. Right then, landing maintenance. Fuel stores, full. Engine, all clear. 
we were ready to disembark into the unknown. What awaited us in the Zeca Grande Skydom? As uneasy as I was, I couldn't help but feel a teensy bit giddy with excitement. Ah, the Grand Cipher. Ever since I found her abandoned behind a cliff, it was love at first sight. I was just a kid, but I had lofty dreams of repairing that ramshackle airship and taking her to the skies. Back then, I didn't know the difference between a porthole and port side, but I was determined. I dove into books bigger than my head, and I learned basic airship repair, helmsmanship, the whole kit and caboodle. After a ton of elbow grease, the day had come. The Grand Cipher was finally ready for a test flight. I still remember how my hands trembled as I grabbed the rudder. And when you know it, she actually lifted off the ground for me. Nothing quite like watching your first love take to the skies, is there? But before I could take it all in, my dreams came crashing down. I mean, literally. The Grand Cipher sunk like a damn meteor. A hundred different things could have caused it, but that didn't matter. Years of work went kaput in the blink of an eye. Betrayed by the very skies I longed for. I was crushed. Looking back now, it sounds stupid, I know, but it really felt like I had nothing to live for. I put all my hopes into that hunk of scrap. Laugh if you want, but some pits are too deep to crawl out of. Especially when you look up for freedom, and all you see is the expansive crystal blue of your tormentor. Don't worry, my pity party wouldn't last for too much longer. You see, my dreams had crashed like a meteor. But ironically enough, it was the meteoric rise of the Earth Day Empire that would bring the captain into my life. Salvation was on the horizon. Ooh, that's a decent attack buff right there. All right, we'll do your last one, then we only got a few more. Just as I'd given up on flying, the Earth Day Empire had arrived in Port Breeze, and they were hell-bent on exploiting our local protector, the primal beast of wind, Tiamat. Their twisted machinations caused her to go on a rampage. Port Breeze was in peril. Fortunately, we had an ace up our sleeve, Lyria. Thing is, Lyria needed to get close to Tiamat, which meant we had to go up, and to go up, we needed to fly. Thought I'd already closed that chapter of my life when the skies betrayed me, but lives were on the line. Quick, get on the Grand Cypher! I don't know what got into me. She fell once before. Hell, I knew she might fall again. Nothing like a healthy fear of death to keep you grounded, eh? But the people of Port Breeze and my new crewmates had entrusted their fates to my piloting skills. My own fear was insignificant. All I needed to do was trust myself too. It's a damn shame it took me this long. But I'm back now, and ready to face the skies if you'll have me. As the Grand Cypher's engine purred to life, I knew I would no longer be encumbered by fear. I gripped the mask with pride as I set our course directly above to the rampaging Tiamat. Lyria quelled the primal beast, and catastrophe had been averted. Not to mention, I could finally dream again. Ever since that day, I've been the helmsman for the Grand Cipher and its crew. It's been one hell of a ride. I've since formed a pact with good old Tiamat, and made amends with the shipwright primal who built the Grand Cipher, Noah. So, Zeka Grande Skydom might be uncharted territory, but my role remains the same. To see our crew arrive safely, no matter the destination. And that includes Estelucia. Some folks might call reaching the end of the skies an impossible dream, but I ain't too worried. With the Grand Cipher as our wings, anything's possible. Once again, a really good attack buff. Alright. It's like I feel everyone's gonna have at least, yep, three episodes. Alright. I 
hadn't met Master Zaka on that fateful day, if he hadn't saved me, there's no way I'd be where I am now. I'm from the Vault's Duchy, where the weather's sweltering all year long, thanks to a river of lava that flows through the island. My hometown might not have been the most scenic place, but as long as I had Master Zaka with me, I was happy. After traveling for so long, I could finally say that with pride. Before I left on my journey, I was completely clueless. When my master went missing, I just ran around like a chicken with its head cut off. I was looking for something, anything, that would help me find him. And that's when I met the crew. The reason behind his disappearance turned out to be even worse than I could have imagined. The Earth State Empire had driven him out of his mind. They had manipulated him into awakening the primal beast that had lain dormant beneath the ground. Colossus. Fortunately, I was able to break through to him, thwarting the Empire's attempt to exploit Colossus's powers for conquest. I learned that they were doing all sorts of horrible things, even to their own people, in order to achieve their goals. My master was a kind person who never hesitated to help those in need. I resented the Empire for making him suffer. And I couldn't just sit around when there was work to be done. That's why I decided to join the crew. To stick it to those Empire jerks and give their victims something to smile about. Okay. A few years before I met the crew, I lost my parents to an epidemic. I mourned their deaths for who knows how long. I could barely even bring myself to face reality each morning. With no living relatives in vaults, I was like a ship adrift at sea. I had nowhere to go and nowhere to belong. Until one day, my master reached out his hand to me. I was so depressed I just kept staring at the ground. That gentle smile never left his face as he asked me, Why do you look so sad? There was something in his voice that made me look up. When I did, a beautiful bouquet of flowers appeared in his hand, seemingly out of thin air. I had no idea how he'd done it, but I knew it must have been some kind of parlor trick. But he insisted it was magic. What a goofball, right? Saying that when he can use real magic. But it was just the magic I needed at that moment. Beautiful and kind. He went on to show me all kinds of incredible spells, the likes of which I'd never seen before. Watching him made me smile at a time when I thought I'd forgotten how. My master would always say that magic exists to make people happy. Something about that spoke to me. It made me want to become a mage just like him. So I signed myself up as his disciple, begging him to teach me magic. I'll never forget how happy I was when he told me I had talent. After all, if he was right, that meant I had the potential to make people smile too. One day, shortly after I joined the crew, I suddenly lost the ability to use magic. No matter how many times I tried casting a spell, nothing happened. I had no clue what to do. The rest of the crew thought Master Zaka might have the answers I needed, so we set sail for vaults. It'd been forever since I'd been back home. My master was thrilled to see how much I'd grown. I opened my mouth to ask him about my problem, but when I saw how happy he looked, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I promised him that I'd come back as a great mage, but there I was, unable to cast even a single spell. The last thing I wanted was for him to be disappointed in me. Around that time, an epidemic returned to vaults, the same disease that had claimed the lives of my parents. Wanting to keep it from spreading any further, my master headed to the clinic to speak with the people who'd been infected. But he ended up getting sick too. The source of the epidemic turned out to be an evil spirit that revealed itself to us right there in the clinic. I immediately confronted it. That rotten creature had already taken my parents from me. I wasn't gonna let it take anyone else. Determined to make it pay, I raised my staff, but nothing happened. I'll never forget how it felt to watch, helplessly, as my parents' killer got away. The crew gave chase, but 
I continued to stand where I was. Without my magic, I didn't see the point. I just ended up getting in the way. All I could do was watch as my master suffered, withering away. Nothing had changed since the last time. But you know, it wasn't all bad. In search of a solution to my magic loss at the local library, I happened to come across a beautiful golden staff. One left to me by my mother. That's when Master Zaka revealed that my mother had been a mage too. On the verge of tears, I clenched my staff tightly in frustration. My beloved home and master were being threatened by a disease-spreading spirit, and there was nothing I could do to stop it. Just as I began feeling completely hopeless, the staff began to glow. Somehow I could feel it encouraging me, empowering me. So what if I couldn't use magic? Surely there were other ways to help everyone. Unable to stand around doing nothing any longer, I ran off to find the crew. When I finally tracked them down, they'd already been rendered powerless by the disease. That left me as the only person who could fight. There wasn't a second to lose. It was that moment when I decided I was done running away. I'd promised myself a long time ago that I was going to use my magic to make people happy. Filled with newfound resolve, I heard a voice coming from the staff. Huh? Is that you? The voice told me to visualize the power flowing through me. As I did, I could feel magic welling up inside me, flooding out from deep within. With my mom's help, I was able to defeat the evil spirit. As soon as it was gone, I erupted from my staff. I turned to see the rest of the crew climbing to their feet, their symptoms gone. The power spread through the entire island of Vault Stetchy, eliminating the disease and bringing smiles back to the people. Things were a little touch and go there for a while, but in the end, everyone pulled through. And I've been able to use my magic without any issue ever since. I just know it's because my mom is watching over me through my staff. Thanks to her, I can keep traveling with the crew, using the staff she left me to bring out more smiles along the way. <laughs> All right. For Eugen. Eugen. You, I don't know anything about really. I once gave up being a Skyfarer. Also, I could take up arms to protect my home island, Auguste. Man, she was special. You see, there aren't too many places in Fana Grande with oceans, much less ones as gorgeous and pristine as Auguste's. And I'd be damned if I stood by as the Erste Empire sullied its waters with the byproducts of their weapons research. It goes without saying that I enlisted. Good thing, too, because it was in the midst of the ensuing war that I met the Grand Cipher crew. They helped us. The local mercenaries, I mean. Take a stand against those Imperial punks. It wasn't a picnic, but we weren't gonna go down without a fight. In the end, the war wasn't decided by either side, but by the patron deity of the land, Leviathan, who damn near drowned Auguste in a fit of rage. Anybody's troubles would have seemed small compared to a battle like that, huh? Well, not long after, as if irony was waiting to bite me on the ass, my strange daughter showed up out of the blue. I know what you're thinking. What kind of parent wouldn't rejoice at seeing their child again? But it's complicated, and it's all my fault. Man, the way Apollonia looked at me, like a wolf staring down her bunny-eared breakfast. I couldn't face her. But this crew, there was something about their vitality. You know, here were these young'uns standing against impossible odds and coming out stronger for it. Maybe if this old man took good notes, he could eventually have an honest conversation with his own baby girl. So, I asked to join the crew and took up a life of skyfaring once again. The next time my daughter and I met, I wouldn't let fear and regret keep me from moving forward. I swear his voice sounds like old, uh, old Jojo from Jojo, my favorite Joe star. How'd me and my daughter end up estranged? Well, the first thing you need to know is that my wife was stricken by a terminal illness. I refused to listen to the doctors. 
terminal my foot. Even if there was no cure in Auguste, surely there ought to have been something in other lands. And so, I left my family at home, crisscrossing the skies looking for a cure. Got into a lot of adventures along the way, and somehow ended up making a name for myself. But no matter how far and wide I traveled, the cure eluded me. And while I was away, my wife, she breathed her last. I wasn't there for her when she needed me most. I never even got the chance to say goodbye. Regret and self-loathing crashed over me in never-ending waves, threatening to pull me under. You can't even begin to imagine the pain. And there was nothing I could do about it. It was all my fault. My daughter spent countless days looking after her sick mother, fighting off fear and dread. It's not hard to imagine why she hates me. She must have asked herself time and again, why was her father gallivanting across the skies while his family suffered? By the time I finally came home, she was long gone. There were no other relatives to turn to. The only family she'd known was no more. All I could do was stand dazed and helpless in the cold, empty shell of the home we'd made. After that, 15 years passed. I met the captain, and through my travels with the crew, reunited with my daughter. This might surprise you, but we didn't have a tearful, touching father-daughter reunion the second time around either. I spent so long telling myself that the next time we met, I'd face up to my past. But when the moment came, I, I froze. What could I possibly say or do for her as a father? After all this time, any courage I'd mustered withered in the face of her scorn. I was left standing there, feeling like an old bastard. Sometime after this heartwarming reunion, I bonded with Leviathan, and through our link, saw glimpses of what lay in my daughter's heart. I thought I had escaped all those painful memories, but here they were. In that world created by the pact with Leviathan, my wife was still alive. I saw how things might have been if I had done things differently. Of course, I knew none of this was real. But I would rather stay in a world of memory than live in a cold, lonely reality without her. But she wasn't having any of that. She said I couldn't sacrifice my future to dwell in the past. She made me promise to fix things between myself and our daughter. Said she'd boot me out of the ocean if I came back without completing my task. Her words finally gave me the push I needed to face my past and start on the path to a brighter future. They gave me the strength to fight for my daughter in her hour of need. And I'd like to think that I finally did something fatherly, if only just the once. Of course, I don't expect our relationship to be mended with one conversation or act of bravery. But little by little, I think we're getting there. And for the person that is the most mysterious of all of them. Zega Grande, the Forgotten Skydom. As I gazed into its perennial blue, I reflected on my last time here. During my travels with him, my memories of this place were distant, yet unforgettable. Have you been here before, Rosetta? Hmm? <laughs> Perhaps I have. Who can say? Eventually, I'll share my tales of the captain's father and our journey together. When the time is right, of course. But first, I would need to sort through my own emotions. It was here in these skies that we would eventually part. I know, I know. In the eyes of eternity, our time together lasted no longer than a blink. Yet his impact on me felt nothing short of eternal. Indeed, it wasn't nostalgia that I felt upon revisiting these skies. Rather, it was the significance of this place, and all that transpired here, 
that weighed heavily upon my heart. During the war, primal beasts were exploited by the Astrals as instruments of battle. Withered and faded, one primal would eventually drift to Lumasie Archipelago, making a home for herself. Over time, she grew accustomed to the comforts of its forests and the serenity they offered. It was a far cry from the brutalities of war. Centuries would pass until a young man stumbled upon her domain, forever altering the course of her life. She engaged him in a vicious battle, but was ultimately humbled in defeat. Accepting her fate, she resigned herself to death. However, the man would sheath his blade and, to her surprise, asked if she would join him on a journey across the skies. A primal beast was supposedly no more than an astral weapon. Beings born to be controlled, manipulated, and ill-used since time immemorial. She had never entertained the idea of something more. In fact, she hardly had a name for herself. Well, she did have a moniker. But it was a meaningless one, whose sole purpose was to identify her as a weapon. Perhaps out of pity, perhaps out of kindness. The man bestowed upon her a new name. It was from that moment she would truly blossom. Rosetta. It was his gift to her. One she would treasure and love for eternity. With every union comes an inevitable separation. When his journey neared its final chapters, as he took up arms against the God of Destruction, I returned to the forests of Lumasie. After my return to the archipelago, I briefly longed for his companionship, but the flora and fauna kept me company. Decades came and went, and one day I would encounter yet another young visitor to the island. There was no mistaking it. This was his offspring. I realized at that very moment the time had come. He'd entrusted this child to me from the ends of the sky. My heart swelled, but I concealed my excitement, flashing naught but a smile at the young captain. I would join the up-and-coming Skyfarer's crew on the Grand Cipher for another journey across the skies, this time as a bystander. During their travels, they would experience joys and triumphs alongside loss and hardship. I continued to observe from afar, doing my best to obscure my true intentions. My roots were well planted in the past. Knowing what I knew, would I be able to act as a part of their crew in earnest? Before long, my ambivalence would come to a head. My convictions had begun to waver. Was this the right approach? Of course, I was conscious of reality. I knew their journey wouldn't be easy. They would have to face the harsh life the skies had in store for them. And with our foes only becoming more and more cumbersome even for myself, could I possibly protect them? My presence on the Grand Cipher was inconsequential, and at worst, a hindrance to the crew. I thought if I weren't here, the captain, Eo, the entire crew would handle themselves just fine. Perhaps the time had come to retire to the forests once more. But as I was preparing to leave, Eo grabbed my hand so sweetly, so innocently, and said she needed me to stay. I couldn't bring myself to abandon her. I would be the bystander no longer. Everyone in the crew had a role to play, and I would be the exception no more. Finally, I found my purpose. I was free to experience the skies once again, hand in hand with the captain. It wasn't duty or obligation that anchored me to this crew. It was love. And I promised to always protect them. I would leave no regrets in the sky. Thus, our journey continued. Only this time I felt that I was a true member of the Grand Cipher. All right, all those were nice. At least they explained more of the characters, and each one looks like they have 11 episodes, and... Have a nice day. 
I think we're good and actually can continue with the story now. Give me a second, let me change my party and we shall do this. Wow, I've been going for a while. All right, we're gonna yep. go with Let's move out. you and you. We're playing with old Joseph Joestar. The ship will depart shortly. Is everyone ready? Yep, we're good to go. Good. All aboard the airship. There's no time to waste. Well, I just spent a good hour wasting time, so... Whoops. You're wondering who I am. Huh? I work for the Church of Folka, mostly as a vicar. Call me Roland. I'm Catalina, protector of this crew. Name's Rackham. Cheers. And I'm Eo. Blagan here. Rosetta. You can call me Ver. I'm Lyria. Nice to meet you. And finally, this is our captain. Wow, I can't imagine captaining a crew at your age. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly a slouch myself. You see, I'm kind of a Mr. Fix-It, handling all the odd jobs after church. From furniture repair to marriage counseling, I can mend it all. Results guaranteed! When Roland's on the case, nothing is impossible! Okay. okay. You had a pose? Too dramatic. Huh? A little bit. This guy's a few apples short of a bushel. He'll hear you, dummy! Glad you're with us. High five, fix it, dude! Uh, dude? <laughs> Once again, my name is Roland. Yep. Heard you the first time. Cheers, fix it, dude. But it's rolling. Huh? <laughs> 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 wow, well, I found Mr. Fix It, dude. Oh, that's chapter one. Oh, we just beat chapter one. I just. Tempest on the Horizon, chapter two. We've got some time before we reach Tempeel, so would you mind checking on the others? Nice! <laughs> A fairy service pamphlet. What is the Temp Tempeel fairy service? The fairy service offers passage to Tempeel from Volca. With one departure in the morning, afternoon, evening. A one-way ticket costs 70 rupees. We recommend passengers arrive well in advance of their scheduled departure time. Please be aware that wind conditions may cause delays. Oh, okay. So is it... Okay. Hmm. We've got some time before we reach Tempeel, so would you mind checking on the others? Oh, hey! It's too bad we had to leave so soon. I was hoping to see more of the town. I feel like we're gonna be going back. <laughs> well, once this is over, we can go back for some sightseeing. Yeah, I don't think we're done with that town yet. That's why I wasn't in a rush to finish that one side quest. Prime, prime, uh, a primeval god gone mad. Yep. Holy cow! Cannot read. Please, 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 just let it be another case of bat. Yep, not happening. Oh yeah, I can return to town. Yeah. She's not the most luxurious ship, but I assure you she's skyworthy. Oh, interesting. The world map will slowly show itself as we go. Wow. This part of the sky is full of islands. Indeed. 
They form the archipelago, and one of them is home to Folka. So this other island we're flying to, will we be arriving soon? Yes, we'll be there shortly. I just hope the islanders are evacuating as we speak. You said we're going to Tempio, right? What kind of place is it? It's a bustling mining village. All the rare metals they dig up put them on the map. What? Does anyone else see that? I mean, the wind around the island. You can actually see it. Huh, yeah. Why is it all weird? <laughs> the gales are reaching us from this distance? I suppose that confirms my suspicions. Oh, that's not a good sign, is it? for someone to now mod in a Joe Star skin for him. Ugh, what a ride! My life flashed before my eyes. <sighs> it's okay, sweetie. There should be more people here. Ah, Roland, we should talk. That's not a good sign. I see. The abnormal winds agitated the goblins, who in turn attacked the islanders. We managed to escape, but the others... I pray the worst hasn't befallen them. Try not to worry too much. Just leave everything to Mr. Fix-It. Thank you. I'll go spread the word. That being said, I can't just leave these people here unprotected. What should I do? He needs our aid, Captain. Did somebody call for goblin exterminators? We'll handle the goblins. Are you sure? That'd certainly take a load off my shoulders. Talk about having the right crew for the job. Thanks a lot. I'll come find you after I get all these people aboard the airship. If you happen to see any more islanders out there, could you give them assistance? Yep, you got it! Oh, I almost forgot to give you this. If anything happens, we can communicate with each other using this device. What is that? We can talk on this thing? Looks like a flower glued to a box. Hmm, must be some sort of, like, walkie-talkie communicator. It's a type of transceiver. It'll allow us to talk over long distances. Aren't transceivers expensive? Are you sure you want to give us one? Yep, don't worry. I didn't pay for it, <laughs> since I put it together myself. Ah, check this out. It even has a nifty light attachment. Why don't you turn it on, Fern, when you want to grab everyone's attention? Might come in handy. Nice. You got skills, Fix-It Dude. <sighs> it's rolling. Huh. Who'd have thunk you could make sweet gizmos like this? Thank you. We'll definitely make good use of it. Follow that road, and it'll take you to Tempio. Let me guess. Please uh, help anyone you see. I'm counting on you. Move it, people! Double time! All right. So if I ever see that flashing, someone needs to communicate with me. Is what I'm hearing. Okay. Seems useful. All right. So these people trust Roland, so he. Yeah. Okay. So he's definitely a good guy. Also, uh, save crystal, teleport crystal. Just a moment. This here is hallowed ground. A special aura keeps the monsters at bay. Yep, okay, so this is a safe point. If you need to rest, find this crystal. You can even stock up on supplies and fix up your weapons. Hallowed ground. Hallowed ground fully heals all party members and replenishes recovery items. Don't pass on the chance to make a pit stop. We're counting on you. Yeah, I'll save. 
I don't want to rewatch everything. Then I could just immediately skip it. All right, let me just look over here. <laughs> so, nice find. I am what we call a loot whore. You cannot hide items like that from me. Oh wait, I missed that. Hey. All right, let's go. Oh god, that's so pretty! Look at that! It's like a watercolor painting. Oh! Oh! Well, aren't you ugly? Pretty good. There. That's the last of them. Now to set the captured people free. I love how an explosion went off. Everyone, get on board. We've been safe? Io, take care of their injuries. I'm on it. I'm just glad everyone's safe and sound. What would we have done without your crew? Skyfarers or something else? Thank you so much, everyone. But more settlements could be under attack. Better keep going. We gotta check on those people. Yes. Are the erratic winds causing the goblins to act violently? That's a big problem, if true. Goblins don't usually go berserk like average monsters. I wonder why I'm going back, because I ran right into the combat. Aha! There is! I was looking for treasure. Man, this game's pretty. What's this? One thing this game has going for strides right now is the art style and the music. Hmm. Awesome! You can see how strong the winds are, because the roof tiles are flapping. Hmm. Doesn't this island remind you of Port Breeze, back when we met Rackham? Oh yeah, that's when he convinced us to be an official crew. I bet he was dying to join you guys. Where else would he find cooler crewmates? How would you know? You joined after me. Oh, I got a wee pincer. Three pincers are rare creatures that hide throughout Zegagrand. Zegagrande. There might be some out there who seeks Little these creatures. Ah, yes. Okay, so I can give him it. Let's see. Neat. We're going down. <laughs> Looking good. Just like that. Man, it's a good thing I chose hard. <laughs> I'd rather at least the game be I challenging saw. later on. Because right now, it does feel a bit easy for me. I might regret that later, but I can always change it whenever, you know, it seems fit. Oh, wait, we have flying. This is rolling. I see more captives up ahead. Understood. Pick up the pace, everyone. I guess we're saving again. Why not? Save when you can. Why the gobbers going after settlements? They usually steer way clear of town. On my mark, we fight. Yeah, about no. Oh, someone leveled up. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. 
All right, they want me to go that way. I want to go this way first. There's so much to actually... Oh, but actually, the... okay, there's actually two settlements we have to liberate. I didn't look at the thing. Timberwolves! They didn't learn how to close calls. Stay calm, everyone. No, stop it. Aim for him. Looking good. Normal goblins. Maybe that's how they are in Zen. Or you. Brother treasure. Opening these tantalizing treasure chests will take a little extra legwork. Touch the the chest. Collect all the mirage stones for they disappear. Either way. Uh oh. Watch out. Uh oh, did I miss one? I did. Yay! That treasure is ours! Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, attack power two. Give me a second. Um no, I'm gonna keep the rupee on me on top that have the most attack power. Who has the lowest? You have a uh, okay, you have fifty-nine, you have fifty-seven. You have 52. I guess I'll give it to you for now. There you go. I'm not gonna do skills yet. I'm gonna hold off just a bit. I wanna try and rack a bunch of points. I'm not waiting for anything special. I just wanna rack Damn a bunch of points. Bastards ruin oh. the beautiful countryside. Bastards ruin. Cry and shame. Yep. Don't mind if I so do. Let's do what we can to get things back to normal. You look fun. Just like that. The bridges are in pieces. We'll have to get our feet wet. Mind where you step, everyone. Uh, I'm down here now. Watch out! I'm moving as fast as I can. Keep those goblins at all times. We will, Roland. You just focus on flying. Yes. But never mind. You're right. I'll put my trust in you, guys. Looking good. Oh, great. Oh. They'll need time to reload. That's when we charge. Catch this! We've made a decent dent in their number. Keep at it. We've cleared the area. It should be safe to free the captives. Go rescue you guys. Thank goodness everyone's okay. Quickly, get on board. Don't worry, you're in good hands now. Oh, thanks. I was so scared. You did a great job holding out. <laughs> what a show! I'm so pumped up right now. Uh, Muscle I connoisseur. A little too much. <laughs> Thank you. Well. Oh no. The windmills have come under attack. Got it. Next destination is the windmill. I knew it. Waterfalls always have chests behind them. <laughs> Ooh, three MSP. I guess I'm gonna... That light is actually kind of useful. But I'm looking around, so you're gonna have to wait for me. Okay, now up there. Seems useful. Alright, I got the fisherman's log. Uh, our, oh, archive. Oh, I missed one. Damn it. Fisherman's log. This morning, a huge school of fish from up the river decided to take a field trip down the waterfall. Weird. It's too early for spawning season. Not that I'm complaining. I've never had a hole like this in my entire life. Can't even close the lid on my ice chest. I think about it. It's almost too good to be true. Like, here, have the best luck ever today. Then tomorrow, the world ends. Hopefully it's just a primeval god feeling extra generous today. Uh, no, that was a sign of bad things to come. Are, are, wait, are you okay? You're running in circles like a madman. We have to get to the islanders. I know how you feel. Nice but don't stray too far. Wait, what? Well, maybe you'll be careful too. <laughs> 
what do you think? Looking good. Armor, follow me. Let's go. Wow, good stuff. Yes, very well done. Um, I was, I just attacked it because I saw pots. I didn't think that was going to happen. That's really shiny. What could it be? Look at all those shiny rocks. Make sure you nab them all. All right, the jumping is a little forgiving. There we go. Doesn't matter which side of work, we always end up working, don't we? Come on, this is normal for us. Who's <laughs> bugging you? Not at all. Ooh, health wake too. Up every day, ready for a new adventure. None of us could ever ignore a cry for help, especially if a primal beast is nice. behind the rock. Right. That's also on our to-do list. All right, I think we're done here. No, I'm taking out the witch doctor. There, looking good. Just like that. They're weaker now. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, I got another wee pincer. Kind of feel I'm not collecting them all. Seems useful. Let's go. No fall damage, good. The game's not that mean yet. Awesome. Oh, I'm waiting. I know the means are gonna start sooner or later. All together! You have my training. That was fun. Your training's paying off, Captain. Yeah, I just give you a bunch of money. Those things are worth it. Ooh, and regain popped off. Good, good, good. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Roger, Dodger. We'll lock it down. Roger, Dodger. Looks like the goblins have hostages. We're on it. <laughs> I don't see a reason to use that, so I'm not going to. I'm using it. I'm here to help. Just like that. Solid flow. On my mark. Bring it. Gale first. We make a perfect team. Thanks, they mess with the best. Your mom. <laughs> Come on. Look at it. Can't keep up. Come on. Just like that. What do you think? Get the islanders. Never mind. This goblin looks tough. Please be careful. Tough, huh? I guess he works out in his spare time. So who's got the bigger guts? Them or you? 
Oh, there's a slime over there. One more group accounted for. Hey, give him back that sweet, sweet freedom. Good room. Nice. Well, damn. Didn't make it in time. Skyfarers? Some. You're safe now. Hurry to the ship. Thank goodness. Don't give up, okay? I'm... alive? You're going to be fine. Can you walk, miss? Thank you, thank you, thank you! Those poor folk are safe thanks to you. Great job, everyone. <laughs> All the day's work! Now, we should return to our search. Help us. There are others who haven't made it out yet. No, this is awful. You have to rescue them. I'll lead the way. Don't mind if I do. I pray we're not too late. Yeah, they're being chased by goblins. There's a goblin in front of them. Got a feeling. What's There's this? a chance it could be too late. Wait. We made it, Roland. Not to start fumigating this place. Oh. Now it's on. Now put my mind at ease. Buddy, seriously? Looking good. At least five years older than you. You wouldn't believe how old I am. Which would make you just like that. Oh. On my mark. My lips are sealed. We're almost there. We must yeah. throw. Yeah. Don't ever come back. Uh oh. Chucklehead brothers or something? They should have sent more than a trio. Looking good. Armor break. There we go. Stay with me. support. Got him in my crosshair. I do have the lady knight. Flattery will get you ever. good. Close call. Withdraw if you're injured. Come on. Attack! Let me cut them down. Great work, everyone. Holy Here, let's just focus this guy on the hates me. Enchanted land. Bull bloom. Come again. I was trying to do a, a dodge, but whatever. There we go. Islanders are safe and sound. Uh, well, they're still breathing. <laughs> nice find. Oh, wait, what's that for? Uh, what's that? Omen stones. Omen stones can be found throughout Zeg Z Zega Grande. Traveler beware, my foes are sealed within. Defeat all the release foes within time limit, and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Go. 
an opening. You won't fall. Not now, not ever. Ha! Catalina, I'll protect you. Fall now. Take. I get it. I got him. Fight. That was a good fight. All right, let's save the Islanders. Whoa, whoa. you guys were awesome. Thank you. Just who are you guys? We're traveling Skyfarers, and we're here to rescue you. Chin up, everyone. Everything's going to be all right. Wait, was that Roland? Guess we really are saved. Let's quickly get you aboard Roland's ship. No, wait. Listen to me. We fled from the goblin fortress that lies deep in the nearby ruins, but our friends are still in there, and they can't make it out on their own. What's the call? Let's get those people out of there. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Come in, fix it, dude. Roll in here. What can roll in do for you? We're gonna break some people out of some goblin fortress, so take care of things here. Got it. I know this isn't what you signed up for, but just be careful in there. Will do! Who's ready to do this? Y'all think this is the goblin fort we're looking for? <laughs> Gives me the willies. Be on guard. Alright, sir. Okay, so they now will hang around. Alright. Alright, so she will sell to me. Upgrade sigil. Sigils can now be upgraded at the blacksmith. blacksmith. The higher the level of the sigil, the stronger the trait effect becomes. Sigil's rarity determines its level cap. Alright. Oh. Okay. Want to strengthen your weapons? I mean, that one's fully leveled up. There's not much I can do for that. Um Let's do it. Might as well. We're about to do something, so might as well do this. I love the barter. What can I trade you for? I mean, I guess I could do that. Yep, no add ons. Oh, let me save. Um, I think that is an actual it's dungeon. Quiet. I'm going to actually pause it here for a second. I am going to do something. Oh, come on. Where are you? There you are. Okay, I'm back. Let's do this. That sounded like a kid. Hurry. Oh. Is this like a coliseum? Oh dear. Well, a 
Let's do this. This place is crawling with goblins. But it doesn't seem like they want to scuff. No, run! Get out while you still can! That doesn't sound good. Um, it sounds big. Try and get the other guy, but okay. I guess I took my eyes off the prize. This is where the real battle starts. Hello? Is everyone all right? What happened to the hostages in the fortress? Everyone's fine. They just need to rest. Stay still! Ow! Ow! Yeah. <sighs> We're alive. Oh, what a relief. I can't thank you all enough. So, 
What do you guys say to meeting the blowhard stirring up this storm? Wait, what are you talking about, Rackham? Told you before we left Folka, remember? The problem with the primal is our problem, too. I don't know about this. Maybe it's best to leave well enough alone. But if we don't calm down the primal beast, the situation on the island is only going to get worse. I hear what you're saying, but... Think of the Islander's safety. Captain's right. These winds spell trouble for the entire archipelago. You ought to fly the Islanders back to Folka before it gets out of hand. Okay, fair point. I'll trust your judgment and get these poor souls to safety. But if it gets risky, there's no shame in retreat. I still owe you a reward. You don't have to tell us twice. Thanks for the concern. Sit tight. The least I can do is drop you off a little closer. <laughs> Reminds you of our showdown with Tiamat, doesn't it? I was wondering why this felt so familiar. Hmm. Chapter 3. Creation of the Stars. I want to save it. I think I've gone on long enough. So hopefully there's a save point. Good luck! Oh. And stay safe! Please be, please be, please, 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 please. Yes! Oh yeah, the winds are picking up. Alright, give me a second. Let me check my party. Um, might have to swap you guys. Oh, actually, never mind. You're where you need to be. Uh, I'll worry about masteries later. I have 60 points, though. I'm still working. Oh, wait. Oh, I can do this now. Sweet. I still need to get that golem finger for the silver key. There's not much in here for me at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna save it and call it. But yeah. Until then... Well, I leave you with this. I'll fight the primal, and hopefully the winds will die down. Until then, I'll see you next time. And goodbye. <laughs>